the Tour of the Gila, an elite-level road race held in New Mexico, made headlines recently when transgender cyclist Austin Killips finished first in the women's category. Killips broke away from the pack during the final stage of the tour and clocked in at 3 hours 7 minutes and 16 seconds, winning the race by a margin of 89 seconds and taking home the whopping prize money of $35,000 for first place. However, Killips' victory was met with controversy, particularly on social media. The debate around transgender women competing against biological females has been taking center stage globally, and Killips win reignited this issue in the world of cycling. Despite the criticism, Killips was fully sanctioned to compete in the event under the rules set by cycling's governing body, the UCI. However, this situation has sparked a storm of controversy surrounding the sport's rules, and some have questioned the fairness of allowing transgender women to compete in women's sports. Former world champion cyclist Alison Sitter, for instance, took to Twitter to express her concerns about the current UCI rules that allow males to compete in female cycling events, stating that these rules are not fair to female athletes. Olympic swimmer Sharon Davies also criticized Killip's inclusion in the women's category, stating that the UCI is not fit for purpose. The criticism towards the cyclist, the tour, and UCI turned into social media abuse in many cases, which is unacceptable. However, there were no public complaints from Killip's rivals, Marcella Prieto and Cassandra Nelson, who finished second and third, respectively. Killip's emergence on the cyclocross circuit was part of the reason why Hannah Arendt's man, a 35-time winner on the national cyclocross circuit, recently retired from the sport. In her protest towards transgender cyclists competing in the women's category, Arendt's man took her case all the way to the Supreme Court, stating that it is unfair for her to have to race against men in women's events. Arendt's statement reads, As this has become more of a reality, it has become increasingly discouraging to train as hard as I do only to have to lose to a man with the unfair advantage of an androgenized body that intrinsically gives him an obvious advantage over me, no matter how hard I train. She went on to describe her last race at the UCI Cyclocross National Championships in December 2022, where she came in fourth place in the elite women's category, flanked by male riders who were awarded third and fifth places. Her sister and family were present, and reportedly sobbed as they watched a man finish in front of her, having witnessed several physical interactions with him throughout the race. Arendt's man also stated that it is difficult for her to think about the possibility of being overlooked for an international selection on the U.S. team at Cyclocross Worlds in February 2023 because of a male competitor. She concluded her statement by saying that the current situation in women's sports is leaving a black mark on cycling as a fair sport for females. Despite the controversy, Killips and her team have been celebrating the victory. On Instagram, Killips wrote, this win was possible thanks to the community and connections I've been fortunate enough to build over the years through bikes. After a week of nonsense on the internet, I'm especially thankful to everyone in the peloton and sport who continue to affirm that trans women belong in women's sports. This issue highlights the need for sports organizations to review and update their policies to ensure fair competition for all athletes. Thank you for watching. Let us know your thoughts on this. Also like and subscribe as we continue to bring you updates.